Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine. Great deals on Skeeter boats can be had right now and every day, but especially through October 15th. What you can get, uh, it's up to $2,500 back on select models of Skeeter Bass Boat. No company has made more bass boats than Skeeter. They were the first to make a bass boat. They know what they're doing, and Madisonville Marine knows what they're doing. So know what you're doing, and go to Madisonville Marine and get money back on a Skeeter Bass Boat. Time for our rapid fire segment, and we're behind, so it will be rapid. <laughs> uh, each guy gets 60 seconds to answer. I want to cover a lot of topics. Chuck, everyone wanted to see Jarrett Garantano and that offense stretch the field in the pass game. Thoughts on the aerial attack? Well, I mean, he hit, what, two 51-yard pass plays? He uh, did, and Keller yeah. Chris did a 50-yard or two. You had it's three 50-yard so, yeah. pass plays. I mean, how long? You'd have to go back a while to see that. So, I mean, it, the, the pocket seems like it has generally been clean. If you give him time to throw, as, as we've been saying, Garantano's been able to deliver the ball. I mean, he hasn't been sacked like a huge number of times. He's been hit, though. But he's been hit. Okay. But there, he's also was able to come off of his primary receiver a couple of times, which is what you want to see more. I, I'm wondering where is the tight end? Are they kind of holding that back a little bit? Have we given up on Tyler Bird? Could he help you as a slot receiver? It might be guy? time to. It might be move time on. to, but I still think there is somebody there that could give you a lift that you need. Most impressive to me is 27 to 38 on the year, no interceptions. Yes. I think if I think they would have to be Pruitt, Helton, they'd have to be very happy. No interceptions from Jarrett Garantano on the season. Okay, uh, Jimmy. Everyone wanted to see an improved pass rush. We've touched on it. Mm -hmm. Didn't get it. Your thoughts on the pass rush? No, I could excuse that against West Virginia because that West Virginia had a veteran quarterback, veteran receivers, a veteran offensive line. I, I can't excuse that for ETSU. Uh, I kind of expected Tennessee to, to throw some blitzes and different looks with walking outside linebackers up to the defensive line, maybe putting pressure on that way. You end up with one quarterback, Curry, and the sack was the quarterback ran out of bounds. He forced him out, so that's still a sack. I don't see that pass rush, and I can't define individuals that I think are really good, at least on the perimeter. I thought Phillips might be better at it. I thought Kongbo. I thought Taylor might be better. Right now, it looks like your best pass rush might be coming from your tackles. Phillips influenced a couple of passes yesterday. I give him credit for that one. Um, With but some tips? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, just to reiterate for folks at home, if you haven't heard this stat on our Saturday show on Fox 43, Mars Hill sacked ETSU three times last week. Mm -hmm. Tennessee got one sack, one hurry, and 30 dropbacks. Mars Hill had three <laughs> sacks against that same team. Mars Hill is known for its pass rush. That's right, the, the Mars <laughs> Hill And at one time when you did blitz, they threw it over it and had a pretty good game. Josh, if you're going to be clawing for wins, and this team is going to be, one thing you needed this year is to have solid special teams. Been solid so far. I mean, you, you don't see any flash plays from return game, but... Your thoughts on special teams so far? Yeah, I would say there are good signs early on for Tennessee's special teams. Still a lot to be proven, but uh, I thought coming out of the opener, I still think after two games, Joe Doyle has done a nice job punting for Tennessee, and he's in a spot where he has to replace Trevor Daniel, one of the most difficult players to replace. Uh, I think Brent Maglia has a good leg. He'll get more opportunities to show what he can do. Can he be a consistent kicker? But also making plays. Bryce Thompson, one of your best athletes, makes a play. Uh, Mark Will Osborne, he's a guy that... He hasn't lived up to the hype on defense. Can he be a guy, really good athlete, that can help you on special teams? Tennessee might have a game or two in the SEC where if it's going to try to win, you look at the box score and say, how did they win that game? Special teams can help you with that. Well, and in two games, you had one block punt and one tip punt. Mm -hmm. Good as well. Mm -hmm. Bob, yeah, but the tip punt went for 40-something yards. Still, you got your hand on it, though. That's You're this close to making <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm trying to be positive. All right. It's 32. Bob, what surprises you more? The amount of youth that Pruitt is going with so far, I mean, he's, he's ripped the Band-Aid. Or the fact that they're 2-1 to one more shotgun over under center after all the talk of power run game. Or the fact that they're plus four in turnover margin after two games. Bigger surprise. Um, I'm going to go with the running as many plays as they are out of shotgun because they came in talking about improving the power running game. Uh, you know, a lot of teams don't even have fullbacks on the roster anymore. I thought you would see Tennessee line up and run a little bit more. You can run a power game out of a shotgun. Auburn. But mm -hmm. Tennessee hadn't done it very much so far, and I just wonder if that goes back to the offensive line problems they have. Okay, if we can't do this, 
then we can't why line up and even try to do it. So maybe it's something they've looked at the players, see what they got. You might see it in future years, but this year you're thinking, okay, we're weak in the offensive line. We'll do some things and try to hide it just a little bit. All right, very good. Uh, when we come back, games like East Tennessee State, UTEP, uh, they're glorified scrimmages. I want to know what our VFL say uh, the value in playing these is, are, is, yeah, <laughs> value of these crap games. That's next with our VFLs. Come on back. <laughs>